Sergeant Major of the Army just called out every senior leader that you all have been complaining about. And so we're going to look at this news article and chit-chat about this a little bit. I think this is great. I think it's awesome. Right? He calls out for leaders to show up at PT. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever known a chief, if you've ever known a master sergeant, or a feel-great officer who decided they just weren't going to show up for PT and nothing ever happened. There's no accountability. Just let it go, right? They're too senior. So why do? how, how do we enforce the standards on them guys? Like, all they're going to do is go to their own chief of staff, their own boss, whatever, and, and, and complain about you for enforcing the standard. So I am, I'm looking forward to your thoughts. If you've ever experienced anything like that, and if you haven't, I'm looking forward to those comments as well because I'm not going to sit here and say that every senior officer is, you know, crapping out on PT and, you know, stuff. So here we go. So it tells them to show up to PT as well as to their soldiers' dining facilities. So all I ask you as leaders is, are you there? Told an audience of nearly 800 officers and senior enlisted uh, just a few days ago. And says, if you don't, he says, you don't have to lead it. You don't have to be up front. You just have to be present. Now, I appreciate uh, Sergeant Major of the Army Grinston giving this message to all of these seniors. I think it's a message that needs to be told, Right. You are part of an organization, you are part of a team, and that means that you need to be present. It's not good enough to, to, to go do PT on your own, right? There's no such thing as that. Because even as he talks about later on in this article, PT is not just about getting your sweat on, it's about building cohesive teams, which you cannot do if you are not physically stinking present. In addition to doing PT, again, he was talking about, you know, just going to the DFAC. And I'll tell you, you know, going to the chow hall, I almost every day, almost every day, me in a battle would go to the DFAC. Not going in to, to see how they're eating so much. It's just going in to be present. I know what they're, how, how they're feeding because I, I, I go there so many times. I know that the food's okay. And I know when it's crap. But I'd like to go there just to be physically present so they can see, you know, that it's not beneath me to come down here and eat chow in the defect. Same reason why I go to the barracks. Now, I don't go to the barracks just to inspect. That's like going to the defect just to inspect the food. You go into the barracks to talk story with your soldiers. Yes, you're seeing how they're living. Yes, you're noting any concerns that there may be out there. But if that's your sole purpose of going in there, you will never truly be welcomed by your team. They want to be able to talk to you. So go chit-chat with them. Do some oak tree counseling up in the barracks. It's all good. You got to be present, team. And so I'll tell you, you know, it's not just senior leaders that are getting away with this crap. You know, with the PT, it's harder for, you know, uh, that, that platoon sergeant to not be there. Like, if, if you're a platoon sergeant and you're not present, uh, you should probably be fired. But how many platoon sergeants are eating in the chow hall? How many platoon sergeants are getting into their soldiers' barracks and quarters and going to other, you know, common areas where these soldiers are hanging out? to see how things are going with them as well as the services that are being provided. There's not near enough. And I can tell you, if you want one tip from my experience that will help set you apart and set you up for success, it is to do just that. It is to be present where your soldiers live and eat and where they work. Leaders who are not physically present are completely ineffective. So he goes on to say, you know, this wasn't the, the, the first call from the Sergeant Major of the Army. He said back in 2022, you got to get creative when it comes to PT. I don't know what he means by that. I know what my own thoughts about PTR. And A, it is to be present, 
to make it challenging. And, you know, everybody, it's the thing with AARs, right? Oh, we, we do the same thing all the time. Well, you know what? We've been saying that for a long stinking time. And there's nothing wrong with doing this, what you're told to do. And so when you find yourself in a position to plan your PT, if you aren't taking your own advice that you gave when you raised up your hand and said, we need to do something different, well, then you're a stinking hypocrite. I know that cuts some people, but it's true. And I'm glad that Sergeant Major of the Army took the time to, to, to give these messages out to these senior leaders. But the biggest question is, will it do any good? Time will tell. Time will tell. But I have my own sneaking suspicions, and I'm looking forward to hearing yours as well. So looking back down through here some more, he's talking about, you know, holistic health and fitness, which is, you know, it's a new program, it's a new buzzword, you know, whatever. Um, so I thought it was great, you know, uh, and I thought it was timely. Um, but ultimately, if our words have no impact, if our words uh, and, and our, our desires if what we want to see happen, if it's just a pipe dream, then that's all it is. It's just a pipe dream. You have to have quantifiable results from what it is that you want. And so ultimately, what I'll tell you is if you are a junior NCO, maybe you're a, you know, a fresh SAR in first class, you cannot worry about what your peers are doing. You cannot worry about what those seniors are doing. If they're off cupcaking and lollipopping, it is not up to you to check them and to tell them to do their job. Because you will run yourself ragged trying to control things that are outside of your control. Do not let things that are outside of your control stress you out. Take care of yourself. Do what is right by yourself. Hold yourself accountable. And do right by those who are in your charge. Everything else will play out as it plays out. And I'm not saying that you don't call people out if they're screwing around and, and <laughs> jerking around or whatever. If somebody's out of regs, like it's your duty and your responsibility to say something or at least bring it to the attention of somebody who can have some influence over that person. But you cannot let what is happening up and that is bigger than you in this military dictate how you are. Just because they're not present doesn't mean that you shouldn't be present. Just because they're not present doesn't mean that when you get up to that echelon, it's okay to not be present because they got away with it. Live within your values. Live within the Army values. Let that creed of the non-commissioned officer be the yardstick that you measure yourself by. Don't measure yourself by everybody else around you. Do what's right. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, team. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.